These are among the focus tonight. Sarawak Premier begins working visit to Australia. Swinburne University of Technology Sarawak to build new research centre. Sarawak needs skilled STEM students. Good evening. Sarawak Premier Datuk Patinggi Tan Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zohari Tun Tato Abang Openg arrived in Melbourne, Australia on Monday to begin a five-day working visit from August 26 to 30. A special aircraft carrying the Sarawak Premier landed safely at Melbourne Airport at around 7.30pm local time Monday. Accompanying the Sarawak Premier were the Sarawak State Secretary Datuk Amar Muhammad Abu Bakar Marzuki, Deputy Minister of Energy and Environmental Sustainability Datuk Dr. Hazan Abang Hipni, Sarawak State Financial Secretary Datuk Sri Dr. Wan Liz Osman Wan Omar and Political Secretary to the Sarawak Premier Basruddin Abdul Rahman. Datuk Patinggi Abang Zuhari begins his working visit by visiting Swinburne University of Technology Hawthorne Campus at 10.15am on Tuesday to attend a campus exhibition at the Siemens Swinburne Energy Transition Hub, Factory of the Future, FOF, and Swinburne Institute for Space and Technology. These three research centres explore new solutions to current technical energy challenges, accelerate the transition towards a sustainable energy sector, delve into digitalization technologies, and explore the latest advances in manufacturing automation. In addition, it also explores internationally competitive capabilities in astrophysics, aerospace, aviation, advanced manufacturing, and artificial intelligence. Afterwards, the Sarawak Premier is scheduled to meet with the Vice-Chancellor of Swinburne University, Professor Pascal Quester. At 2 p.m., the Sarawak Premier is scheduled to meet with the Sarawak King students studying at the University. The Sarawak Premier will conclude his first day's working visit by visiting the National 4.0 Industry Latest Manufacturing Testbed at the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, CSIRO, at 3.15 p.m. On Thursday, the Sarawak Premier is scheduled to depart for Sydney, Australia to deliver his keynote address titled The Powerhouse of Green Economy in Asia at the Asian Australia Business Forum at the International Convention Centre, ICC Sydney at 11.30am. Afterwards, he and several other panellists will share their views in a special discussion touching on energy transition and green economy. The Sarawak Premier will then witness the signing ceremony of a Memorandum of Understanding MOU between the Australia-Malaysia Business Council AMBC New and the Sarawak Australia Business Council SABC. Organised from August 29 to 30, the Asian Australia Business Forum focuses on topics related to agriculture, food security, renewable and green energy with a special focus on decarbonisation, digital transformation, tourism economy as well as medical and health resilience. The Sarawak Premier is scheduled to return to Kuching on August 30. The Sarawak Government through Swinburne University of Technology, Sarawak Campus will develop a research and development centre focusing on renewable energy, aviation, satellites and drones. Sarawak Premier Datuk Pandigi Tan Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zuhari Tun Datuk Abang Openg said the site for the new research centre will be identified and equipped with advanced facilities. He said the research centre is crucial for Sarawak to explore the potential of sharing renewable energy sources such as solar in a more accessible way to the public. Dan uh, sebab itu uh, kita akan uh, cuba untuk mempunyai satu lagi uh, tempat uh, penyelidikan di Sarawak Campus. Tak semestinya di kawasan yang ada ini kita akan cari kawasan yang baru dan dia macam apa yang berlaku sini yang dedicated eh, dari sudut uh, research uh, ini akan membolehkan kita mempunyai cangka-cangka baru dari sudut uh, distribution of uh, tenaga He made these remarks after leading a Sarawak government delegation on a visit to the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization CSIRO Advanced Manufacturing Testing Laboratory in Clayton on Tuesday According to the Sarawak Premier, they will also collaborate with Swinburne University of Technology in Australia to recruit teaching staff to enable the research centre to operate. Pertama, kita mesti berarti tenaga pengajar, the lecturers and then the expert. And here just now, we, 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 we can see the two giving us all the necessary uh, prerequisite 
tenaga pengajar dulu. Dan saya lihat tenaga pengajarnya ada di main campus yang kita boleh kongsi bersama dengan institusi pengajian tinggi yang ada di Sarawak. The added that Swinburne University of Technology Sarawak campus and the main campus in Australia will also organize student exchange programs at the PhD level with other universities to enhance students' skills. Meanwhile, the Sarawak Premier said Sarawak needs more students who are proficient in the field of science, technology, engineering and mathematics or STEM. He said that students who are skilled in STEM education are highly needed for Sarawak to explore various new technologies. At the same time, kita mesti mengeluarkan um, mereka yang agif dan tahu dengan teknologi, meaning STEM subject important. Saya harap uh, apa nama ni anak-anak kita yang masih di sekolah ini untuk mendalami uh, subject STEM. Perkara-perkara yang kita dengar tadi semua dia STEM tu. Kalau kita tak tahu oh, macam mana dia what do you call that material tadi a composite dia dia berapa layer macam mana nak letakkan dia layer tak nampak tadi kan and then the machine you have to have to know the machine the tool that mean you have we have strong physics physics it must be strong Earlier on, Sarawak Premier Datuk Patinggita Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zuhari Tun Tato Apang Openg along with a delegation from the Sarawak government visited two high-tech research labs at Swinburne University of Technology Hawthorne campus during his working visit to Australia. The Sarawak Premier began his visit by touring the factory of the Future and Digital Innovation Lab where he was briefed on the operations of the research lab by its director, Professor Prem Prakash Jayaraman. He spent approximately 40 minutes observing demonstrations of automated manufacturing systems using artificial intelligence, AI and robotics, industry 4.0 applications, innovation and research, and data analytics. Afterwards, the Sarawak Premier visited the Siemens Energy Transition Hub, which focuses on research in various sectors such as renewable energy, energy storage systems, carbon capture, electric vehicles, community microgrid energy management systems, electricity for renewable energy, and more. During the hour-long visit, he was briefed by the director of the research lab, Professor Mehdi Saim Mahmudian, on several studies conducted in the lab such as wireless charging vehicle concepts, energy sharing, renewable energy, and more. Afterwards, Datuk Patinggi Abang Zuhari, along with the Sarawak government delegation, held a closed-door discussion for about an hour with the Vice Chancellor of Swinburne University, Professor Pascal Quester, and the university's senior management. Before heading to CSIRO, the Sarawak Premier had a friendly gathering with 18 Sarawakian students studying at Swinburne University of Technology, Hawthorne campus. In a somber development, Sarawak Governor Tun Pahin Sri Dr. Wan Junaidi Tuanku Jafar paid his final respects to the sister of the Premier of Sarawak, Dayang Melia Tun Dato Abang Openg, at her residence on Tuesday. He and his wife, Tuan Puan Fauzia Muhammad Sanusi, arrived at the late Dayang Melia's residence around midday at number 54, Sri Minangkabau 1, Dalam Muhibah, Kuching. Also present to pay their last respects were the wife of the Sarawak Premier, Puan Sri Dato Amar Jumani Tuan Kubujang, along with close family members. The funeral ceremony will take place today at the Sumariang Muslim Cemetery. The late Dayang Melia, aged 89, was the third child out of 10 siblings and passed away at the Noma Medical Specialist Center around 1.50 a.m. on Tuesday. And that's the English edition with me, Didina Shafika. More news can be found in our official portal, ukasasra.govi.my, and social media platforms including Facebook and YouTube. Ending the bulletin with the vision of Premier 2030, Revenue Degeneration Divorce and Development Funding. Hashtag Sarawak Informasi Rakyat. Have a good night. VC Premier 2030 Revenue Regenerating Divorce and Development Funding Kerajaan Sarawak mematuhi plan yang bertanggungjawab dari segi kewangan untuk memastikan negeri ini lebih selamat, terjamin, berdaya tahan dan makmur. Di bawah plan ini, sebahagian besar peruntukan telah ditetapkan untuk pembangunan infrastruktur seperti jalan raya dan jembatan pelabuhan dan infrastruktur sungai khususnya di luar bandar untuk program transformasi luar bandar, projek rakyat dan untuk program grid bekalan air Sarawak untuk kawasan yang mempunyai tekanan rendah di luar bandar.
Penubuhan Bank Pembangunan Sarawak di BOS pada 3 November 2017 untuk menyediakan dana alternatif kepada pembangunan menggunakan model keuangan yang baru. DBOS ditubuhkan sebagai model pembiayaan alternatif baharu bagi kerajaan Sarawak untuk membiayai projek-projek pembangunan. Ini termasuk segmen-segmen seperti ekonomi digital, pengangkutan awam bandar, tenaga boleh diperbaharui, minyak dan gas asli, pertanian moden dan infrastruktur. We have to complain all the time and do nothing for ourselves. With this reminder and with full hope of for the future, I have the pleasure to launch Sarawak First and very own development bank, the development bank of Sarawak. Dear boss, thank you very much. DBOS memberi tumpuan kepada pembiayaan projek-projek strategik untuk mentransformasi Sarawak akan sentiasa mengenal pasti peluang dalam keuangan hijau dan mengamalkan objektif berkaitan alam sekitar, sosial dan tadbir urus ESG dalam perniagaan. Jumlah aset milik Bank Pembangunan Sarawak mencecah RM9.47 bilion ringgit dengan pendapatan terdahulu kira-kira RM130.5 juta ringgit setakat Oktober 2022. DBOS telah dilancarkan pada 2017 dengan model berbayar berjumlah RM500 juta ringgit dari dana Rizab Sarawak. VC Premier, Sarawak Maju, 20, 30.